big up to everyone lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you are watching i really need to platform from thank you so much and i do really appreciate your time once again um happy happy sunday to you as well today episode i'll be running you through um talking about um kevin yaboa and i'll be talking about um adding katia as well these two players um it is over for them to represent ghana black stars and that are some players that already they are Ghanaians international and this season they are doing pretty well in their club side maybe some of the players you are not familiar with them and i'm gonna go through their performance this season and their goals and their assists this season right here on a really unity platform but please let me take um, your time a little bit whatever you are and you want a lot of things right here in spain it doesn't matter in the country you are you want washing machines you want cars you want tel television or you have a lot of things here and you want to send it back home ghana nigeria or sierra leone in the country intercop is always right here for you if you own a ship and you want to come to spain for maintenance for your vessel and you want shipping agency to supply you a lot of goods then intercop is the right place for you please pick our numbers right here and get more information let's drive into today's episode the players that I, um, I'm going to talk about, like I already said, first player is Kevin Yabua. Kevin Yabua, a lot of people are suggesting that GFA boss um, should pursue this guy once again because when they come to the striking department, Ghana Black Stars, it is difficult for the, our strikers to get goals. So GFA boss should pursue Kevin Yabua once again. With basically, I feel like this guy shouldn't be invited to the black stars for my personal opinion if you guys are not familiar with this kevin yaboa you can see him right here kevin yaboa was born in italy to ghanaian parents and 2021 ghana invited him to represent black stars but he refused to do so he refused to play for um, ghana and they went on to accept italy italy they invite him for their under 21 he went to play for italy and at that time he was thinking that maybe italy gonna qualify for the world cup in qatar so that he will represent italy play world cup with italy but fortunately italy didn't qualify for the world cup so he rejected ghana call up and he was playing italian Serie a general and general last season they was relegated to um from syria a to syria b so from then they wanted him to get playing time so they give him loan to german bundesliga um osborg he went there as well all the season he was having like a heart injury and he didn't really do well but still a lot of um, people are suggesting their personal opinion that gfa boss should is a quality player should invite him to ghana black star and he should pursue him once again which i feel like if ghana we really want to build our black stars to be so attractive we have to put a cross for some certain players that well if you ghana black stars are bigger than most of every player out there so when they invite you and you refuse and you are not doing well and you get to a point and you feel like you cannot get the country that you was born you cannot get a place there and that is the time you want to come for ghana black stars i think ghana have a lot of players enough which i'll be running you through right here for you to see by yourself players that they were sacrificed and they are willing to represent ghana some of them are out there always talking day out there in that they really want to play for ghana and some of them finally represent ghana and they are doing well for their clubs yet they are not calling those players but we are running through for players that not even deserve to be in black stars let's move to adding katia adding katia we even if you follow me for some time now i spoke about him many times he's always pulling back coming in pulling back coming in i get understand these players sometimes i always say we need patience with these players for them to make their right decision but i think some of these players they always want to wait when they are not doing well for their club side when the country they they really wanted to represent 
are not calling them. That is where they think that Ghana is a place that, or Black Star is a place that they have to come in to showcase their talent or they have to come to, to raise their talent once again. And when you force players, players that are not willing to commit to the country and you force them to come and play, they're not going to do well. Let me run you through for some players. Okay, let me run you through players that um, players that are doing very well in their club side. Okay. Let me run you through for players that are doing very well in their club side. Let me make it big so that you can see it very well. Okay. See this player that a lot of people are a lot of people are saying that Ghana should call him. Okay. This is a player that a lot of you you can see it in the your screen. <clears throat> you can see it in the screen. Okay. Um I'll be running you so that you see it very well. Okay. This is a uh, Kevin Yabua. I hope you can see it in your screen. This is a Kevin Yabua. Kevin Yabua, 23 years of age. With you, you can you can see it right here in your screen as well. Kevin Yabua, 23 years of age. This season so far, play 11 games, scoring one goal, giving one assist. This is a player that a lot of people are saying that Ghana should invite him to Black Star. And comparing some players that already, you see, players that already represent Ghana, and they are always willing for to get Ghana Black Stars call up. But we are not talking about these players. Like I always say, it seems like Ghana we want new things. When something is new, everybody is over that talking about. But when that thing begins to be in our system, we don't really want to talk about which it is not fair. Look at the player that 11 games this season, scoring one goal, giving one assist, and we are over talking that this guy should come and play for Ghana. Let's move to um, one player again. Let's move to one player right here again. That is, we're talking about, we have to invite these players. We have to invite these players. Yes, players that are doing well. Why not? We have to invite them to represent Ghana Black Stars. But players that they are not doing that much, look at the player that uh, Brian Manu or Menu, you can see him. You can see him right here. Okay. You can see him right here. This season, this player already, he played for German Bundesliga, German Bundesliga 2 with Patrick Pfeiffer. Their team is top on the German Bundesliga 2 and they're going to qualify to Bundesliga this season. They, they remaining only one game away. Okay. Remaining only one game away for them to let me take you then you can see German Bundesliga 2 you can see their team they are on top on German Bundesliga 2 67 point and they have only one game away to promote it to German Bundesliga the main German Bundesliga and this player Already Ghanaian international is always playing with Patrick Pfeiffer. Go there and do your reset and check as well. This season, is a midfielder. He played for Ghana back World Cup qualifiers. He played for Ghana. 
and this is in a play 27 matches scoring seven goals which you can see it right here you can see it right here in the screen 27 matches this season scoring um seven goals giving seven assists but yet a player like this are not talking about a player like this are not invited to ghana black stars guys let's go to the next player patrick pfeiffer patrick pfeiffer was part of the players that um swiss nationality to represent ghana alongside anyak william alongside um Tarek Lamte, a lot of them. Patrick Pfeiffer was part of these players. But yet, Patrick Pfeiffer haven't get a chance to represent Ghana Black Stars, which I do not know whatever reason. This player, this season, as a defender, you can see it right here in the screen. Okay? This season, as a defender, he play 23 games scoring four goals giving one assist but yet this player is not talking about let's move to another player okay let's move to another player um fast right here player that should have been given chance i know they normally call him but he's not really giving chance like how he deserve is Ramford Yabua. Ramford Yabua, very, very talented young player. Always sometimes called, but he's not really given chance to show what he have. Which I think going to the under-23 tournament in Morocco, this should include to under-23 squad. It's a very talented player. This season as well, he played 30 games this season, scoring eight goals so far. And all these players are there. We are not talking about them. And we are casing players that they are not even doing well in their club. And those players knew very well that they're not going to get a chance to represent the country that they was born. Let's move to another player. Okay. Let's move to another player right here. Christopher Entry. Okay, Christopher Inchi is a Ghanaian international, was born in Germany as well. He already represents Ghana. This season, he played for German Bundesliga. Despite that their club are at the bottom of the German Bundesliga, um, play this season, the club that is playing. Bokum Bokum in German Bundesliga. It's a midfielder. Play 28 games this season, which you can see it on your screen. Play 20, 28 games this season, scoring three goals, giving six assists this season. Which set of player should be invited to Black Stars? There is a lot of players in Black Stars. Which, if you want, we want to be honest, some of them are not really doing really well on their club side, but they are always invited to the Black Stars. With this player, I feel like this player deserves to call into Black Stars. It is a time for us to leave players that are not willing to commit. Players like um 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 um. um Daniel Kofichre was so happy when Ghana called him for the first time. He came out running through, jubilating with Ghana JC. This is the type of players that we want in the Black Stars. Anthony Semenyo was so happy, jubilating when Ghana invited him for the first time. This is the type of players that we want in Ghana Black Stars. Jordan Emisa is always coming out boldly putting out there that he cannot wait to represent Ghana. He cannot wait to represent Ghana. Players like this, even 
Isil Young, if he cannot get a chance to Ghana Black Stars, should be invited to under 23. But we are not casing these players that are willing to commit to the country. We are casing players that always think that they are bigger than Ghana, thinking that they are bigger than Black Stars. With that, there is no individual player out there bigger than Black Stars. We have a lot of players that even carry Black Stars in their soda. Tony Yaboa, Sami Kufuo, Abedi Pele, Sibina Pia, Samoa Jan, all these players. We don't even, we, they don't even feel that they are bigger than Black Stars. Than players that Adin Katia, I spoke about him many times. But how many matches, what effort and how can, can he really, really help Ghana? If he's willing to commit, yes, but all these players, they are not willing to commit. So why we have to talk about these players? That is uh, Christopher Inchi. A lot of players that are doing well with we can with a player like Jesse Slop. I don't know whatever reason till now they should talk whatever issues they have with Jesse Slop, then call him back to Blackstar. This season, he's some of one of the players that they play more matches than some of our Black Stars players. Jesse Slop played 34 games this season, scoring three goals, giving one assist. Which they can play for left back, can play for midfield as a um, defensive midfielder, or whatever you put him. That is some of the players that are doing very well this season. Which we need to look at all these players that are doing very well. Let me finish with a you brothers um, situation now that a lot of people always talking about that you brothers should you try. You see, we need to always we need to always appreciate players that put so much no matter whatever reason. If you come out and you want to talk about a you brothers situation right now, people that do not get like the guys for whatever reason, they will come out here to disagree with what I'm about to talk about. And that is fine. We are human and we wasn't meant to um, agree with um, things for some certain things. In which it is normal something. Are you brothers? I was watching some platform with some people was doing um, this in that. Why Kwame Ayu came out to say if like that is Ayu is not in Black Star, someone that should be captain should be Jordan Ayu, but not Thomas Te Party or um, Richard Ofuri or Daniel Martin. And a lot of people still have problem on that. A national team used to be, or even some club, it used to be players that have been in the team for a while and they have experience. And when you take Jordan Ayu, you pick Jordan Ayu and Thomas Tepati and Daniel Amate, Jordan Ayu is far, far better than when they talk about the experience wise. A lot of people was asking, and I was fortunately um, feel so sad about some of the people, they are sports journalists, and talking about what year Jordan Ayu played for Black Stars. And the, the truth is clear. If you want the truth, Jordan Ayu 2014 was in Black Stars and even played for World Cup. Jordan Ayu had experience in World Cup. He'd been in Black Stars before Thomas Tepati. He'd been there before Daniel Amate. He'd been there before uh, Richard Ofori. Jordan Ayu, the time that Jordan Ayu was playing Champions League, Thomas Tepati was nowhere to be found. I'm not saying that Thomas Tepati is not a good player. We all know he's a very quality player and we need Thomas Tepati more than even some players if we want to be honest but i'm basing the fact here jordan Ayu, the time that jordan Ayu was playing champions league thomas Tepati was nowhere to be found he was a player but he was nowhere to be found daniel amati was nowhere to be found don't know what is about champions league richard ofori was nowhere to be found jordan Ayu have experience in champions league playing with olympic Marseille. Back then, he had experience with the Champions League. And where can players get experience? The Champions League and the World Cup. So if a player like this, and the same time being in Black Stars before these players, and if Jordan uh, Dere Ayu is not in the Black Stars, then you will jump set a player going to give um, the captain to Thomas Tepati for whatever reason. Can you give me a clear reason why you will jump a player like if you want to be honest with yourself? Can you give me whatever reason Jordan Ayu 
Thomas Tell Party should be ahead than Jordan Ayu. Give me one reason. Give me one reason Daniel Amate should be ahead of Jordan Ayu to be a captain. Give me one clear reason. If you really want the truth, give me one clear reason. Give me one clear reason why Richard Ofori should be ahead of Jordan Ayu. But when you talk about this, a lot of people will come out and say, well, it is tribalism. If you, why are you brothers? It shouldn't be family thing. It shouldn't be family thing. But it is clear that Jordan Ayu been in Black Stars before all these players. Jordan Ayu been in World Cup before these players. Jordan Ayu been in Champions League before these players. So I feel like it is a time for us to see ourselves as a one people and take this kind of the way we hate people with no, no simple reason out and willing to show love and to give players that really deserve chances. Thank you so much for always being part of a Renew Unity platform, whatever you are. One love.